Now, these are the pros and cons of being a mail carrier. Let's start with the pros. Number one, you can work outside. The cool thing is um, you have some people who prefer to work outside. They don't want to be cooped up in the office all day. So if you're one of those people, this might be something that you might be interested in. You know, you get to drive around in the truck all day. You're going to spend most of the time alone anyway. So you're going to get plenty of fresh air and you can take as many breaks as you want. The main thing is you just have to make sure all the mail is delivered before you return to the office. Because if you return to the office and there's still mail or letters or anything on the truck, they're going to send you back out until everything's delivered. Number two, you will be working alone, which is cool because some people prefer to work alone anyway. So um, once you start doing the routes, you're going to be alone most of the day and you can just relax and you really don't have to deal with. You don't have to deal with too many people until you actually begin the route and you might have to. There's going to be some interaction with customers. But besides that, you're going to be working alone. Number three, you have job security. This is a federal position. So if you get hired as a mail carrier, you can literally apply anywhere you want. So you won't have trouble finding work. You can apply anywhere you want in the U.S. Uh, for example, like if you lived in Virginia and let's say you were trying to relocate to Texas, all you have to do is just go back on the website and apply. And the cool thing is when you apply the second time around, the process will go, it'll go a lot faster than it did the first time since you're already in the system. But there's one more thing that I forgot to mention. If, uh, if you're a CCA or RCA and you transfer from one office to another office, you're going to have to start all over again. So that's the only part that, that really sucks, you know, um, when it comes to like time and service. Once you transfer to that new location, there's already going to be, uh, you know, like CC, CCAs there. So they're going to have seniority, which means that puts you back at the bottom of the list. Pro number four, good benefits. Well, for the 60 days of your hire date, if you're a CCA or RCA, um, you're only eligible for certain benefits. But, you know, it's better than nothing. Um, the only benefits that you qualify for in the beginning is uh, you get paid leave and you get health insurance. But that's it. Those are the only benefits that you qualify for um, until you actually become um, or until you reach regular status. Now, once you become a regular or, you know, once you reach a regular status as a driver, you're going to receive full benefits. Full benefits include uh, paid leave, health insurance, uh, dental insurance, vision, uh, sick leave, retirement. You get all holidays off and you only have to work five days a week. Not to mention you get to bid on routes. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty sweet once you become a regular. And I remember when I was still new and I didn't really understand um, how the whole bidding system, how the, the whole bidding thing works. And I had some coworkers explain it to me. And it's actually pretty cool, especially if you're tired of doing your route. And because you have a lot of routes um, that have like... Uh, have like apartment complexes on it. And a lot of carriers don't like doing apartments because you're running up and down apartment stairs all day. And after a while, I mean, it kind of takes a toll on your body, you know what I'm saying? Your, your, your knees start aching, your body hurts, all that good stuff. And it just, um, a lot of people just don't like doing it. They don't like running packages. So how it works is um, once, once you have a carrier that's on his way out the door, like he's about to retire, that route is pretty much up for grabs. So that means all the, all the veteran carriers or the other regulars they can they can bid they can start bidding on those routes and the person who has the most time and service usually gets that route and then whatever's left over they'll just continue bidding on those routes and um so it really just depends on um what their preference is or what your preference is when when it comes time for you to bid on the route but if you're um if you're a cca and you're about to get promoted to regular status that means you're um you're pretty much going to get whatever's left over so whatever they don't select that's what you're that's usually the route that you're going to start with and that would be your permanent route let's start with the cons con number one would be risk believe it or not this might not be the safest job in certain areas it's one thing if you came from a small town but once you come to the city it's like a whole nother ball game when you come to the city you know you have to deal with like heavy traffic you have to deal with like reckless drivers in some neighborhoods you have to deal with dogs you know there's there's a risk there's a chance you might get bit by a dog you could be doing your route and um and sometimes if you're not paying attention you're not you're not being aware of your surroundings you can you could jump out of a truck to run a package up to a doorstep and a dog can come from out of nowhere and just attack you because I've, I've seen situations where people got bit by dogs so you know there's that and another thing you have to deal with is rude customers if you go to an apartment sometimes when you go to apartment complexes and you're doing the mailboxes you, you know you have to open the boxes up and you might have um you might have tenants walk up because they want to go through their mailboxes and sometimes they'll they'll wait for you to open the boxes and then they'll try to stick their hand in it, you know. And you're not allowed to let anyone. Uh, they can't. You know, they can't interfere with your work. So it just takes you longer. It take, it's going to take you longer to get it done if they keep interrupting you. And sometimes, you know, 
that could, you know, that could escalate. It could turn into an argument, not a fight or anything, you know, like that. But I don't know. But then again, you never know. I mean, there's a lot of people out here that are kind of crazy. So, you know what I mean? So all you can really do is just, you know, just do the best you can when you're out there. Just try not to let tenants, you know, dig their hand through boxes when you're trying to sort the mail so you can deliver everything and just hurry up and get everything done as quickly as possible. Because, uh, you know, you don't want management calling on you because, you know, every once in a while, you might have that one supervisor that's trying to keep tabs on you and, you know, they might start, you know, they might start calling the work phone and trying to track, you know, trying to track your location and see how long it's taking you to complete certain parts of the route. And that's and that's a headache, too. So, yeah, that's something you might want to keep in mind when you're out doing your route. Con number two, bad weather. There may come a time where you might be outside and the weather might be really crappy, like it might be raining. So, yeah, I have to deliver mail in there. But they don't they don't care if it's rain, sleet, snow, it snowstorm, it, it doesn't matter. When you're once you're out doing that route, the only thing that your supervisor is gonna care about is you delivering all that mail. And they don't they don't care, they don't care how bad the weather is. If you come back to the office and there's any mail on that truck, any packages, any letters, anything like that, all they're gonna do is just send you back to the street. So that's something that's something you might want to think about, especially if you don't like being outside and really, really nasty weather. Oh yeah, and that's another thing I forgot to insert. They put a tracking device inside that truck, that, that LLV. That's the, 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 the small box truck that you're gonna be doing most of your driving and your deliveries in. Oh yeah, they can track your location at all time. So no matter where you are in the city, they're gonna be able to track you and they're gonna know when you're moving and when you're standing still. So yeah, keep that in mind too. Con number three, this is a very physical job. Yes, this is a very physical job and you will be running packages all day. The holidays are a nightmare and uh, Sundays are pretty bad too. I mentioned Sundays because when you're a CCA, you have to work six days a week. You only get one weekday off if you're lucky. I remember one time, um, oh yeah, I might want to add this too. I remember one time I came to work on my day off. I didn't know I had my day off, but what they do is they take a schedule and they pull it up on this bulletin board and at the bottom of the schedule, they'll have in small and fine print and it says subject to change which means they can change it anytime they want to. So what happened was on this particular day, I came to work thinking that I was, I was scheduled to work that day. And the minute I hit that clock, I looked at the, I looked, this is before I hit the clock, I clocked in and, I, and, and then I looked at the schedule and I was like, oh man, I had the day off. I went, to, I went back towards the clock, the clock out, and then one of my supervisors stopped and he was like, well, you're already here now. You can go do this route. And they sent me out on the street. But what I found out later was um, if I didn't hit the clock and I was in that same situation, I could, you know, I could have turned around and walked back out, but I didn't know it at the time. So they basically forced me to work that day for something that I didn't know. So that's pretty messed up. But yeah, they, you know, sometimes management to do stuff like that too. Generally speaking, you know that the post office is closed on Sunday. If you're a CCA, a RCA, or an AR, ARC, you're going to be working on Sundays delivering packages. All day on Sunday, you're going to be running packages. So um, you, that's something you might want to think about too. And it's very rough too. And I remember um, our postmaster... He would, he would basically just keep us there until everything was delivered. So if you're coming in 8 o'clock in the morning, you might stay there until 8 o'clock at night. So it's just a, another full day. So there goes your Sunday. And, and don't try to use religion as an excuse. Like, you know, um, you know my religious preference is it's against my religion. They don't care about that. They're still going to make you work. Oh, con number four, you will never work a set schedule. I repeat, you will never work a set schedule as a CCA. Now, once you reach regular status, you, you will... You know you'll have a set schedule but while you're still a cca or a rca you're, you're not you're not working a, um you're not working a set schedule in fact you're not even gonna know what time you're getting off most of the time because they can give you a full route plus they can give you a piece of another route which means you're gonna be out for a very long time this is how it's gonna be throughout the week because you're working six days a week so you're never gonna you're never gonna know what time you're getting off this is something you need to think about if you're considering being a delivery driver if you really want to be a carrier this is something you need to think about or I mean, or um, you could always consider other positions too. You don't you don't necessarily have to be a mail carrier. There's other positions too. You could be a processor. You could be a clerk. I mean, you can get a job working in human resources or at the factory at the plant. You know, so you could be you could be a sorter at the plant or something like that. There's you have tons of other options besides this one. That's 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 the point I'm trying to make. So I'm not trying to I'm not trying to discourage you. I just want you to know you know what you're getting into, so you know what to expect. 